All right, gamers, welcome to my season 14 Kaisa gameplay. This game, I'm going to be playing Kaisa Lux into Volley Bear. Nah, into Volley Bear. No, that's my jungler. Into Caitlyn Senna. Didn't want to actually play Kaisa this season until I actually found a build that felt good on her. Because I was sure there would be some shenanigans with the new items that would make her strong. There always is. And I think I finally found one. We're going to be doing Hexplate Rush into Ginsu. Is that the suggestion of a viewer? We're going to be doing either on hit or AP, should be fine. Looking at our comp, maybe ID isn't the, AP isn't ideal, maybe I'll just end up going on hit. But their comp isn't really all that tanky, so maybe we can just get away with doing um, AP. Just get to respect their level 2 and the fact that they have higher range, prior over the lane. Just trying to hit them back while they're focused on Lux, though. Got my W, so if Lux happens to hit a binding, then that'll make for a free W on Killen. I can just try it now, because, well, I should have done it while she was still slowed from the Luxie, but that also enables a easy W hit. Killen has no HP right now, so she... Oh, actually, she's popped the potion, so she's going to be a little bit healthier than that, but... Yeah, we ideally either want to cancel her base or just freeze this wave so that she's forced to stay in lane instead of getting that crash and basing on that. Especially as we don't have enough wave clear to crash the wave from here. Be a hex play. It should be pretty nuts on Kai'Sa, I hope, is my expectation anyway. Whenever we use our ult, we're going to be, you know, massively buffed up, which is pretty nice on Kai'Sa, I think. Should be nice for her playstyle. And additionally, it also gives really good stats for giving us the Q Evolve and also the W Evolve. Well, not giving any stats, but like wasted on an AP build. This is way too aggressive from Senna. Looks out of mana, unfortunately, right now, so... Don't have too many tools to abuse them with. Ooh. Uh, so this is way overextended from Senna. This should be a kill, I hope. There we go. Got Triumph. I'm alright. Maybe we try and get killing out too. Oh. Nice <laughs> try. Really, every minion was left with, like, no HP there. Isn't Kazuki supposed to execute? No. Sort of, but no. Not quite an execute. Uh, I think we're gonna have to leave the wave here. I can't really risk getting ganked. I try and survive that wave while I'm super overextended. It's just not an option. It's a shame if I got either one more kill or one more wave or just one fighting or something that I could get on cover, but I'm gonna have to settle for not getting that. Um, I say we just do triple long sword and... Refillable. That feels like the best base I can get here. Going for Tunneler doesn't necessarily feel as good as getting 30 AD from Triple Longsword. You don't always have to go for completed items if the stats from single components are going to be better. Uh, there's not too much room for me to follow up here. Try and follow up with my W. Nice. If I follow up, I'm in kill steal. <laughs> but I want to make sure I'm getting all this farm, which is guaranteed. Well, almost guaranteed. I'm kind of messed it up with Q, but I still got most of that anyway. Nice. I definitely want to prioritize shoving in this wave before I can help with the Drake, though. This is not a good time for me to be helping with Drake. If Volley Bear wants my help with this Drake, his first move should have been to help me shove this in first. So I'll try and shove it in by myself and then see if they still need help with the Drake. Yeah, there's still room to help them. I might lose out on some CS there as well, but at least this time it's not a kind of wave. I probably won't miss the entire wave, at least. Even if I do miss some of it. Actually, I might not even miss any of it. That's kind of lucky. Yeah, just a much better window to help with the Drake there than previously, even if it's still not perfectly ideal, like the wave wasn't crashed. Is that the trench of it in from all the way over here? Which is a long distance to travel, by the way. I have the turrets moved up. Feels like it's even harder to crash waves, naturally, now that I think about it. 
Huh, what? Yeah, this is a much longer distance than there used to be between lanes. Huh. So it's actually just straight up harder to crash waves now. Interesting. Uh, I probably could have based, to be honest. I've been kind of distracted. But yeah, so I don't have my support. I think Senna's in this burst, right? So she's going to be zoning me. So there's nothing to do here except just the base. We'll get the new cover. Uh, can't really get anything else, can I? So we'll just leave with that. Could have got a pink ward, actually. I think it's going to be fairly important to actually buy pinks as ADC this season. I usually used to recommend against it just because I didn't feel it was worth the gold. But with so many different brushes to ward now. Or that are useful to ward. Like, I think at a minimum, you need to... You need this warded, and you need this warded. Ideally, you would also have that warded, but obviously that's easy for the enemies to protect with a pink ward. But at least here and here. Whereas previously, you just needed, like, a, an absolute minimum of one ward. To be fair, even just one ward here, though, would be fine, just so long as we, um... Uh, aren't pushing forwards. If we're pushing forwards, though, then we do need a ward there as well. Gotta continue respecting the fact that they have Pryo here, and... Now my support is here, but the wave is still so much bigger, we don't want to trade into that, so... We ignore the fact that that Binding just landed. Oop. Nice. Wasn't sure if I could get that without using Q after she hit that. Lux needs to be very careful, but... I think we just kill Senna here, to be honest, yeah. Lens the exhaust, and I just have more DPS than Caitlyn, so this should be really good for me. Then I didn't do ah damn. Then I didn't do nearly enough damage before dying, as she should have been trying to do. Just focused on running. And see, so when we do those kind of all ends, just imagine how strong. Whoop. Oh boy. Fuck me. Okay, I need to flush the barrel if I can. And now I just need to fight back because I'm not escaping. All I can try and do is fight back. Ideally, I'll hide behind minions. Nice. Well done, Katarina. I think I actually wasn't going to end up escaping. But that's only because I flashed the Gragas Q. I was spamming flash for the entire time that I was... Uh, Stunned, just desperately hoping that he would not detonate it early. If he detonated it early, I think I was screwed there. He needed to detonate it right as the sun was running out, not after it ran out. Because that gives me that window to outplay. Yeah, we're already got a massive lead, so... Obviously, this is not going to be a great example of how it would usually go completing Hexplate in an even lane, but... The stats it gives are just amazing. We get 55% attack speed, 55 AD. Right off the bat, that's already insane. And then we also get 300 health. And 15% movement speed also when we ult. Alright, and for our evolve, we need... Um... 25 more AD at the moment, so that's one pickaxe. If we get a pickaxe, then we have to evolve. That being said, I don't believe that the uh, new cover builds out of... Sorry, uh, Ginsu's builds out of pickaxe anymore. No, it builds out of... um Hearthbound, which only gives 20 AD, not 25, which is awkward, so... I don't know 100% yet what this build is going to look like. I could do Terminus, which builds out of BF sword. That would give me Q evolve. I know the Ginsu's itself gives you enough AD for Q Evolve, I just don't know if it's worth waiting that long. It's possible though that by the time I finish Hearthbound that I would only need like, need like level 9 for my item, which would be an acceptable delay I think. But it could also just be that Terminus is going to be the straight up better second item with this build. If I go AP, would I want Terminus or would I want Ginsu's? I mean, Ginsu's actually gives AP is the thing. So Ginsu sounds better right off the bat. So I think we're gonna, we're definitely gonna test Ginsu's this time. Maybe we'll do some more games experimenting with this build and we can try different variations. The main thing I want to test is just a Hexblade Rush into this like either hybrid AP or on hit kind of playstyle. Whoa, oh. nice try, nice try. If I land on us anything here though, and I can hold in, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. We know I'm strong. Yeah, ooh, but I am dead though. That's a shame. 
Pretty good though. Like I do think that I only had the damage to kill there just purely because of this one item that I've built. I will do this and oh, that actually already gives me kill level at level eight. That's actually surprising. But yeah, okay, perfect. Then this works just fine then. Oh, dude, and I'm trolling. There's also this longsword, of course. So okay, so it's it takes like uh, fifteen fifty gold. In total, to get kill evolve. Or would, you know, if I hadn't already been level 8 anyway. If 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 I were getting this before level 8, then it would take 1550 gold after the experimental hex plate to actually uh, get my kill evolve. But like I said, level 8 is a more than acceptable delay for kill evolve. And that's only if you're really fed, also, I assume. If you're not fed, you would be level 8 anyway by the time you get to that stage of the build. And a great thing, not to be under underestimated, about Hexblade as well, is on top of the stats I already mentioned, even I keep forgetting about this, you gain 30 haste on your ultimate at all times. So my ultimate has a 130 second cooldown, I believe, base cooldown. It's been dropped to less than 100. That is a huge reduction, and as we go on throughout the game, it's going to get even lower and lower. Especially as we keep on even building our bullet haste items, potentially. If we end up going AP. We can absolutely dive here. I don't need to really cleanse the root pill I need us to cleanse the exhaust. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of close, but I gain all this tankiness from the Hexblade, I gain all that damage. Like, that's the ridiculous thing about this. Like, during the small period after your ultimate, not only are you tankier than the opposing ADC, as, you know, assuming they haven't also built a tanky item, but you are also doing more damage than whatever item they've built. Obviously, it is only for that very short window, but, you know, that is the, exactly during that window that you would be expected to kill someone after ulting on Kaisa, right? It's ridiculous. Alright, wait, can I actually afford the Ginsus already? Nice one. Now we need 70 AP. If we were to get W Evolve, if we want to get W Evolve, how much attack speed do I need? Because I currently have two different attack speed items. I'm hoping that Berserkers by themselves, or I was hoping that Berserkers by themselves would give me enough. I'm not sure they will though. I need 30%. Yeah, I'm going to need Nash's Tooth or, you know, well, not, Nash's, not necessarily Nash's Tooth, but Berserkers and at least a Reek of Bow as well, I think. Yeah, anything towards my third item is going to be necessary for E-Evolve, at least. <clears throat> it's a shame, though, because if I could actually get E-Evolve from just these three items, you know, he uh, Hexplate, Ginsu's, and Berserkers, then that, that would enable me the, uh, the, you know, the possibility of just being able to do a full AP item as my third item. Instead of having to go for Nash's Tooth, which is good if I want DPS, but maybe I don't want DPS. Maybe I want Poke. Maybe I want Storm Surge, you know? I could Technically, you can still do it. You don't have to get E-Evolve, but obviously it is very nice to get E-Evolve. Fuck okay, it, I'm gonna try. Oh god. He might flash. E-Flash. Just gonna be absolutely sure. That's a shame. <laughs> At least we live, though. Hmm. I can get away with shoving another wave. I don't need the gold. I get the same base no matter what here. But I really don't want to miss out on a kind of wave. I can avoid it. Because I saw Greg is basing, I'm going to assume he's finishing his base. If I had not seen him basing, I would have to assume that there's a chance to get ganked. And I would just have to leave this wave. But because I saw him start the base, I gotta, you know, just hope that he doesn't randomly change his mind. And actually... Decide to gank me again. This Lux is also very strong. Alright. It's about time we start rotating mid. Yeah, getting about 30... Basically 34 second reduction on our ultimate just from that one item is kind of crazy. Void rule number one. It's going to be great on... Not just champions that... Um, have like a good synergy between their ultimate and the effect of Hexplate, but also just with the ADCs who are really reliant on their ultimate period. 
Like, it could be quite good on Ash, even though Ash probably won't have the synergy that some other ADCs have with Hexblade. Something else that I need to try. Katarina can go bot if she ever wants to take solo farm, by the way. Somebody should go soon, and it, I'd rather be her since I push turrets faster. Since I just, you know, pressure from range more effectively in, in general. <laughs> I don't need to ult in for this, I hope. Oh. Maybe I do. She should have seen what I was doing there. I don't want to cleanse this exhaust because I'm not even sure if I will kill her even if I do cleanse it anyway, so... Okay, just need to be sure I wasn't taking aggro there. Oh. What's the Scragus doing? <laughs> what the hell? There's not too much I can do here. Good enough. Alright, and now we need... Huh, it actually would only probably take until... Maybe level 13, maybe level 12, I don't know. But I'll, at the most, two level ups to actually get my evolve here. Maybe a... Yeah, I think actually a Storm Surge build would be viable here. We'll try that, we'll try that. Uh, I don't actually know what that build's out of, so let me just... Okay, Hextech Alternator and either Wisp. We can do either Wisp. Or we can do... um. I'm Tom after the alternator. Nice one. And now we already have that W evolve. Actually, that's super early. Actually, a lot sooner than I was expecting. That's awesome. So I'm hoping that it would only be until level 12 before we get evolved, because that would be sick. Not even having to wait until 13 would be amazing. Or a poke build with this build. Of all the new AP items. Storm Surge seems to be very strong. Maybe the strongest. Oh my god. That was a lot of damage. My bad. Probably yeah, I got hit by a Q that I didn't see. At least I hopefully get cleaned up there. Yeah, my bad. I could have. I actually had the up, so I could have made an effort to dodge that Zoe Q. Dominating. I wasn't really thinking that I could die there, honestly. Bit off more than I could chew. Could have cleansed immediately as well as soon as the Zoe bubble hit me, because. Uh, actually, no. I'm, I guess I would get rid of by Senna W, actually. No matter what, I would have to cleanse exactly as. So I can cleanse the Zoe E preemptively the moment it hits me, but I can't actually cleanse the. It's on the root until it's actually rooted me. Anyway, let's try and get this level 12 so I can see what the situation is on Eovolve. I got all of the solo XP. Actually, I still get it. Anyway, nice. Okay, so that's my... Not my Eovolve. Oh, well. We'll need level 13 for this build. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, that's a big mistake from her. Nice one. Yeah, I only see Ginsu as being as the... Be I see Ginsu as being as the only viable second item if you want to do any people with this. Terminus second could be good if you want to do one hit. We can finish this turret. Oh, we got level 13, and that should be my evolve, right? No, you're kidding. You're kidding. Not even at level 13? Okay, that that's kind of a bummer. We're missing 0.3% attack speed. Who could have known? I mean, we can just build it now, to be fair. Alright, I'm out of here. Oh, 
And we currently have a 70 second cooldown on our ultimate. Alright, uh, what do we want to build now? I guess not obviously Nash's Tooth, yeah. I mean, we're basically, we're halfway to level 14, so we could actually absolutely do, um, Blasting Wand here, or Fiendish Codex instead of Recurve Bow, but I don't think it makes a huge difference at this stage. May as well just get the Fasty Evolve, I never know when that might help. Generally, this is what you would end up doing anyway, because I think I'm a bit overleveled compared to normal, or actually, it might be the reverse, I'm not entirely sure, but... If you're a little bit far away from your Evolve, you would absolutely do the Recurve Bow. Oh, wait, they actually have vision here. What? You're kidding. I actually got one shot by that. What the hell? How did they have vision here of all places, man? That's so unexpected. Just threw my Hexblade HP as well. Does anybody want to take any guesses as to what item the Zoe may have bought? Okay, it's Luden's Companion. How much damage did that do? 191. That's considerably more damage than Ludens would have done on the previous match. Even my item is doing quite a lot of damage. I think Ludens was more like 100 damage or something. 290 f definitely feels like a lot. That's early on. Definitely too much damage in items, mage items in the game right now in my opinion. Which is why I was also excited to try out the AP build with this item. I came back for the others. We could also just try out- next time I try out this build I'll probably try out um, Luden's Companion instead of Storm Surge. Oh, you're kidding me. That almost could have hit me again, holy shit. Imagine getting one shot twice in a row like that before I can even see Zoe. She could technically E me here. She's like not farming at all. She's literally just sitting in the jungle trying to cheese me. There we go. Now she's farming. I do have cleanse this time at least. I don't get her there. Without my W. Uh, the skin of awkward that I already wasted W because if I had that up. Would have been quite convenient. I'm gonna go the AP variant of this build. It might actually be smart to max W second instead of E. Ah, uh, this is gonna hit Raptors, my bad. Okay, we got a soul actually. Just hit me. <laughs> oh. Wasted again. Another flash. Wait, what did I lose my HP to? Excuse me? That doesn't even make sense. What did she hit me with? I don't think she hit me with Q. Does this give CDR? Does 20 ability haste. Storm Surge doesn't. Storm Surge gives movement speed though, which is nice. 5% of it. Even more when you hit a champion. Hopefully my W just procs it by itself. I would I wouldn't I wouldn't know because I haven't fucking hit my W on anybody yet. Ow. Oh, what the hell? Uh, I could have just ulted my butt. Okay, nice. She lives at least. What the hell is going on here? Come on. That was terrible aim. Holy shit, I should have killed Gragas there. Ah, God damn it, my bad. That was super close though.
30 second cooldown on this. This gives a lot of mana, which is really overkill though for Kaisa. Again, 10 more ability power and 10 more magic pen with this. Hmm. I feel like Storm Surge will be the better one for Kaisa, but I do I should try out the Luna's Companion next time. Okay, I still can't afford uh, Nurse's Tooth. I don't think it's worth selling my Doran's Blade. It's giving me so much healing as well. There's one fed set. It's level 16. I thought I was fed, but I'm two levels below him. Well, one level now. Alright, let's try it. <gasps> the minion block. Wait, that's that's so illegal. I wanted to dodge the Senna ult by pathing to the right, but I was stuck exactly on this turret, I think. And was there actual mini block or was it just a power turret block? But either way, it forced me into a straight line into the Senna ult instead of walking around it like I wanted to. Yeah, no, I don't think that was actually minion block. I just think there was no... Well, so this cannon was blocking me. It's possible that without that cannon being there, I actually would have dodged that. That is rough, man. Getting hit by the sun ult is the only reason I died. Oh well. Okay, we have 61 extra magic damage on hit now. We're actually so much stronger now that we completed this. Maybe should have been waiting for that before really going for auto attack plays. Because after all, with this storm surge, I'm mainly just doing poke damage. I would, I, I assume anyway. It's not the premier DPS item, which is what I want if I'm going to be ulting in. The cooldown, by the way, on Overdrive, the, pass the unique effect of Experimental Hexplate is 30 seconds, so... As long as your ultimate cooldown is above 30 seconds, then you can always ult in and always get that effect. Not counting, obviously, Aximark. Keep moving my camera over myself just to make sure there's not a Gragas walking into me or something. Oh, that's just brainless. Time to go in. I don't like the lack of ability hits for this build, actually. My Q cooldown is so long, so much longer than I'm used to. Even when we're gaining 15 ability haste from Nash's Tooth. But I think haste is just down in the game in general. Uh, that's all we're gonna do for now, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, let me know your thoughts on the build, and I'll see you guys on the next one.